Hi everybody, I'm Argolfump. This is the schedule for my book review channel for July 2023. So there's a new Barbie movie coming out this month. I figured I would post some of those old Barbie reviews I did several years ago. Did a poll on here asking people which Barbie books they wanted me to read, and I picked six of them. So Barbie is the theme for this month. On July 4th, I have Barbie the Lucky Skates. That's a mystery where somebody steals skates from her skating team. She figures out who did it. Barbie Rescue of the Unicorn is a fantasy novel where Barbie has a magical talking unicorn, I believe. It's kidnapped by an evil... No. She has a talking animal friend. Her friend is a bird. The evil wizard kidnaps her unicorn and she has to go past three scary challenges to save her unicorn. And there are fairies. So, definitely a pretty cool uh, fairy tale there. On the 7th, we have Baby Sears Club Mystery Number 29, Stacy and the Fashion Victim, where she becomes a fashion model for a book, and that is literally all I remember about the book. She's a fashion model, and, and you can tell that from the cover, so clearly I did not remember very much. And then um, book number 108, Don't Give Up Mallory, which I remember a lot more, because that book made me mad, because Mallory has a terrible teacher who's mean to her, because she's extrovert. No. The teacher's an extrovert, but Mallory's introverted, and so he's mad at her for not talking in class. He's like, hey, Mallory, why weren't you talking in class? And he's a jerk who doesn't talk to the girls either. He only calls on the boys, and, you know, the boys are always interrupting and shouting over Mallory. So, like, when Mallory tries to say something in class, she gets interrupted, and then the teacher blames her for not talking in class. What a jerk! And then another situation is, like, you know, she has the perfect comment to make about chapter one of the book they just read. And then the teacher's like, okay, we're gonna move on to chapter number two, while he sees Mallory still has her hand up. And he's like, wait, Mallory, why did you put your hand down? Huh? Why didn't you say anything about chapter number two? I'm taking points away from you for that. So yeah, terrible jerk, did not like the teacher who is just mean to introverted kids, and also mean to female students. So, 0 out of 10 for that teacher. Now, on July 10th, we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid Double Down, which is not a very good Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. It felt just like a bunch of random, unconnected ideas. And it could have had a theme about Halloween. I think if the book had been centered around a Halloween theme, that would have worked and might have saved it. But as it is, it's just too random and weird and, like... It felt like he wrote half the book, and then he just went to every story and just doubled it. Just doubled the length of every single story. Because, and I point this out in my review, like, the first five pages of the story have nothing to do with the last five pages of the story. And that happens multiple times. But uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid number 12 is much better. They go on vacation, and it is a disaster, and it is hilarious. Uh, we have two Barbie princess books. I liked Barbie Two Princesses, which has a funny opening. That's why I like the book. Um, there are multiple Barbie as the princess in the Popper books. I think the chapter book is the one that people were expecting me to read, but I, I actually did a review for one that's 20 pages long. This is a picture book, and it's got some awesome pictures in it, and that's why I decided to review that one. But, you know, maybe I'll go back someday and read the Barbie and the Princess Popper, uh, the full novelization. Maybe, if, if this one's popular enough. Popper-ler enough, huh? Huh? Oh, okay, so, uh, moving on to Benicula, the graphic novel. Benicula, the graphic novel was released last year. I had no idea, and it was pretty awesome. So, I did a review for it. And also, um, noting the changes that were made to the graphic novel. Uh, similarly, they just released a graphic novel for Sweet Valley Twins number two, Teacher's Pet. I hope to do a review for it. Uh, the book just came out, so I haven't read it yet, but I hope to read the graphic novel and do another changes video, and I hope to have that posted this month, July. So I'll, I'll try to slip that in here in this magic space in July 19th. On the 22nd, we have two more Barbie books, Barbie the Class Act. That's where she is a teacher, and she teaches her fourth graders to love science. And she is a much, much better teacher than this jerk. The guy who is a huge jerk to Mallory. No, 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 no. 
No, Barbie's a much better teacher. She's nicer to her students, and she helps the struggling, introverted students instead of being mean to them. Also, Barbie Shooting for the Stars is a science-themed book where she's astronaut Barbie, and it has some awesome pictures in it. On the 25th... Oh. Am I not doing anything on the 25th? Give me a second. All right. On the 25th, I will be doing two Encanto books. Love is Magic is a simple board book, and The Mystery in the Rainforest is a book which takes place after the movie Encanto. I believe it's the uh, first Encanto book, which is sort of a sequel to the movie. Okay, it's a simple children's book. It's like 25 pages. It's a picture book, so it's not like a super fantastic sequel, but it's still pretty good. I, I, I liked it, especially because it, it shows Bruno interacting with the family and being friendly with the family, which is obviously what would happen after the movie. They treat him like a normal member of the family, and Abuela's nice uh, to him, and yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I, I just liked that one. Uh, on the 28th, we have the next Sammy Keys book, which is Sammy Keys of the Dead Giveaway, along with Who Censored Roger Rabbit, which is also a mystery book. Uh, I did a poll here on YouTube asking what should I post uh, this month, and people wanted Roger Rabbit, so I've paired Roger Rabbit with Sammy Keys and the Dead Giveaway. I also have two commissions that I will be reading on the 31st. I saved them for the last of the month, giving myself as much time as possible to read them. Oh. Warrior Cats by Aaron Hunter. So it's Warriors, Power of Three, number one, The Sight, as well as a play called Almost Main. Those will go up on the 31st. Here are all the book reviews that I did last month in June. I did a lot of book reviews. I realize there's a few Wimpy Kid spin-off books I have not done. So I did the Wimpy Kid Movie Diary, which I thought was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Overprotective, a Dragon Ball Z fanfic. So I wrote this fanfic back in college. It's the most popular thing I've ever done. It's gotten over 600,000 views on fanfiction.net. I figured I might as well do an audiobook for it, because it's if it's 1% as popular here on YouTube as it is on fanfiction.net, then it's worth my time to go through it. It's also kind of fun to read this funny story I wrote, which I barely remember. It's sort of like reading a brand new book written by a totally different author who I, I've never read before. Uh, also finished the American Girl Kit series, so I read a lot of American Girl Kit. Number three is the one where... It's a Christmas one, and it's great. She deals with her stingy uncle, Hendrik. I, I like that one. I did not like book number four as much, which is called Happy Birthday Kit, Her Birthday really doesn't have much to do with it and, and there's a cute dog i'm not sure why the dog was introduced it feels like it was just introduced so there could be a cute dog in the series and not because it's a, a character that actually matters although grace is a cute dog i uh, also read a bunch of goosebumps books so goosebumps number 27 night and terror tower um i don't want to spoil the big twist but uh, a lot of the book was running away from this bad guy, and the bad guy never explains why he's chasing these two kids. He's just like, you need to come with me. You already know why. I won't explain. And that got boring fast. I, I got really mad at this bad guy just chasing them without explaining why. We get the explanation, I think, like 80% of the way through the book. Um, book number 28, I think I like the, I like the first half of this book. It's the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, and it's about this kid who's going backwards in time. And uh, I think the first half was more thought out than the second half, because the second half, he's like in kindergarten, and, and then preschool, and then he's a baby, and he can't really do much or have exciting, scary adventures as a baby. Uh, Goosebumps number 29, Monster Blood 3. I seem to remember this book was awful and just not good. <laughs> yeah, Kevin grows to be 20 feet tall. Uh, not Kevin, Evan. And there's just nothing interesting that he does when he's 20 feet tall. And, and then he's got this evil cousin named Kermit who just messes around with him all the time. Ugh. So I, I was kind of sick of, like, prank-loving siblings. Like, we have one here in Night and Terror Tower. He's not that bad. Man, uh, the sibling in Cuckoo Clock of Doom was terrible. Terror the terror. She is so scary. And then uh, uh, 
Kermit is the exact same way in this book. He's a cousin, not a younger sibling, but he's still filling the role of the annoying person who pranks the narrator all the time. I just don't like that. I, it, I got very sick of it having three books with mean siblings all in a row. Also, the Goosebumps Monster Blood Collection, which is a collection of the first three Goosebumps Monster Blood books. Now that I've read all three of the uh, Monster Blood books, I don't think there's... No, there's a fourth one. There's a fourth one. So, um... Anyway, it was very easy to just throw my reviews together and have a brand new video which uh, collects them. Then I read some Bluey books, uh, Bluey the Pool, thought that was okay. The next Wimpy Kid Movie Diary book, I didn't think that was as good as the first one, and the Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself book, so I think I'm officially done with all the Wimpy Kid spin-off books. And then it just, just a bunch of overprotective, uh, you know, I started it last month, but, uh, what's, what's the last one I've read? Chapter number 23. So, 23 of the videos I made last month were just this audiobook. It, it goes all the way to 50 chapters. 50 chapters is a pretty long fanfic. Uh, another Bluey book, My Dad is Awesome. Bluey's dad is awesome. I like that. Um, there was, like, a sequel. Let's see if I can find that sequel. My Mom is the Best which I don't think was as good as the dad book. It's definitely not as popular as the dad book anyway. I don't know if it's because the one book is better than the other, or if it's just because the dad character is far more popular. Uh, Bluey the Creek I thought was okay. They probably made it into a book because it has a bunch of interesting backgrounds. And let's see, The Healing of Texas Jake, which is the sequel to The Grand Escape, which was okay. I thought it was a little worse than the original book, but still interesting. Still good. Uh, American Girl Kit number 5 was an interesting book. It's, you know, she she has an adventure, like she ends up in jail and she escapes from jail, um, and she also meets a bunch of hobos. Uh, the hobo character featured pretty big in the uh, American Girl Kit movie, believe it or not. And, yeah! Yeah, it's interesting. It, it I'm glad she saves the day by escaping from jail and helping her friends. I'm not glad she made terrible decisions which landed her friends in jail in the first place. Uh, American Girl number 6, Changes for Kit. So that's the final book of the series. It was sort of like a sequel to book number 3 because it heavily, heavily features Uncle Hendrick. I thought it was interesting. I liked it. And then I did a review where I just give a general overcap of the six books and what happens in the six books. There's kind of a seventh book. It's called Really Truly Ruthie, which was released at the same time as the movie, believe it or not. So it, it takes place between books three and four. It's about Ruthie and Charlie going to meet Aunt Millie in Kentucky. So they take the train and go on this long journey to, to meet her. And then here's a compilation of all my American Girl kit reviews. So there's a lot of compilation books for American Girl kit, believe it or not. So these are all, I think this one was all six of the reviews with Really Truly Ruthie added. So yeah. And then there's Read All About It. So that's a compilation of the first three books. Turning Things Around is a compilation of the second three uh, kit books. And there's also the three booked box set, which is... Those two compilations together with Full Speed Ahead, My Journey with Kit, which is a game book written long after the series had already ended. I also read Kit's Treehouse, which is a 30-page short story. It's published by itself as like a small book. And there's a couple of other Kit books, like um, there's a historical book, which is Kit's World, not to be confused with this historical book, which is Welcome to Kit's World. It's really confusing. They have two books with very similar titles. And then the, there's also like a, a few more kit short stories, which should be easy enough for me to read because they're, they're short. They're short stories. They're not full books. I also did a review for Runaway. So that's a spinoff of the Sammy Keys books, which I will be posting that review next month. You, you can look forward for that. And then I got back to more Goosebumps. Goosebumps number 30. It came from Beneath the Sink. A surprisingly scary book about a surprisingly non-scary monster. The monster's a sponge. It's a sponge. Okay? That's not scary. Uh, uh, Bluey Books, Bluey Grannies, which was a fun episode. I 
these books were kind of weird, weren't they? So, uh, uh, like, this book was released as a board book originally, and so that's why it seems kind of weird. Uh, and it has purposely small, um, you know, backgrounds that are meant to be ignored. It's because it was a board book. Similarly, this one was originally a Lift the Flap book. And so that's why the illustrations in that book are weird, because they're designed to be flaps, and you're supposed to move them and see other pictures, and... Yeah, I, I don't... I just think it's weird. I read two Bluey books in a row, which had something weird with the pictures. Uh, I read the first book in the Wonder Woman Adventures trilogy, which I thought was okay. Um, I did take issue with a couple of things, which I mentioned in my review. And uh, Banicula, A Rabbit Tale of Mystery, which is the original Banicula novel. So I, I had to do a review for that along with uh, reading the graphic novel. And the graphic novel and the original book are basically the same. Like, word for word, very, very similar. Alright, more overprotective books. Um, and then we're going to finish with a bunch of Goosebumps books. That was, that was everything I read um, at the very end of the month. Uh, Night of the Living Dummy 2. So that's uh, Slappy's return to the series. Very scary. Slappy is a very scary. It was a great book. And The Barking Ghost was a terrible book. Zero out of ten. Terrible, terrible Goosebumps book with non-scary dogs. And the do the culprit's plan makes no sense. Um, the culprit spends like three quarters of the book doing stuff that has nothing to do with their evil plan. Uh, the plan is like body swapping, which is not explained because of an evil curse. It's just a bad book. And then a bunch of... Goosebumps compilations, I noticed. So there are a bunch of Goosebumps compilation videos, which I could have done for compilation books. So I did. So Monster Edition number one is books one, two, and four. I, I reviewed all those. There's my compilation review. Um, number three is all the books with ghosts in the title. And that's how I was alerted to compilations, because the Barking Ghost is one of the Goosebumps compilations. Uh, also the Ghost Next Door and Ghost Beach. And I, I should note, it's not just I threw together my uh, three three pre-existing reviews into one video. I do give a little bit of an introduction. So I give like a one-minute introduction before playing my reviews. Uh, Goosebumps Hero Raising Collection, it's the first three books in the series. Vanishing Collection, next three books in the series. And then the Retro Scream Collection released for the movie. Yeah, I like that one. That, that had like five really, really good books. And I think there's like three or four other Goosebumps uh, collections that they released, but I haven't read the books for them yet. So like, one of them is like the Legend of the Lost Legend or something like that. And, and then something's like the Haunted School, and I, I haven't read those books yet, so I'm not gonna post like compilation videos for uh, those collections. Okay, I've been talking a lot um, because I just read a lot and a lot of books in June, so I'm gonna end this video now. Thank you very much for watching my channel, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe.